let's talk about movement. To perform this action, you must check the movement attribute of your unit. The value is divided into sections, measured in strides, and both represent a single movement action. To move your unit, place a short template touching the edge of the base. The unit must be able to travel in a straight line without obstacles. In this game, we move front to back, covering the whole distance if required, although we are not forced to go all the way. Anytime you declare a move action, you are allowed to travel the complete distance of your attribute values. Remember, two sections, one movement. Moving is considered a simple action, so during your activation you can move twice if you want to. Charge. The number between brackets is the charge value. Your unit is allowed to complete that entire distance straight until reaching base contact with an enemy and perform an attack. Charging is considered a long action. One of the advantages of charging is it allows a complete reroll of your attack dice. Only once, though. Assault. This is also considered a long action. When you perform assault, your unit will move until reaching base-to-base -base contact with the enemy and attack. Unlike charge, this action doesn't include a free reroll. With assault, you can still engage in combat by surrounding possible obstacles. Units. To move a unit consisting of two or more troops, Follow these steps. First, move the troop leader. Then, place the other troops of the unit next to the leader no further than two strides from it. Check out the following videos to learn more about how to play this exciting war game and have a lovely day, travelers.